As you're sitting in class, uh, trying to, you know, cram in more math problems or memorizing, you know, one more historical date, it's easy to think that the biggest challenge you'll face is getting through high school. But trust me, the real challenge lies ahead. In the world beyond those classroom walls, uh, life after graduation can be overwhelming, exciting. Life after graduation, you know, can be overwhelming, exciting, and frustrating all at once. And it's crucial that you're prepared for the realities that awaits you after high school. Many of you might be thinking, you know, oh, I would just, you know, go straight to college, get that degree, and then get a job. Boom, I'm set. But that's not how it always plays out, to be honest. Some of you might not get into your dream college or any college at all. Some of you might realize that college maybe just isn't for you. And you know what? That's okay. But what then, Adam? If the college doesn't work out, then what? Others might think that, you know, getting a degree automatically means getting a job in the field right away. But the truth is, it's not that easy or it's easier said than done. The job marking is very, very competitive these days and you need to be prepared to put in the work to stand out. And then there's the mixed conception that everything, you know, will fall into place immediately after graduation. Newsflash, it won't. You'll be thirst into the real world where bills are need to be paid, rent needs to be signed, and adulting you know, suddenly becomes a lot more real. It's not all Instagram perfect moments and Netflix binges. There will be struggles and you need to be prepared for them. The reality is, Life after high school is full of unknowns. You might start college and realize it's not for you or that you need to take maybe a year gap to figure things out. Maybe you might land your dream job only to realize that it's not what you thought it would be. The point is, life after graduation is a journey, not a destination. I personally, you know, took about a year gap once I finished high school to really fully understand what I truly wanted to seek in life. So whatever your options, college, vocational training, job hunting, the choices will be endless. And that's when it could become overwhelming at times. But here's the thing, it's okay to not have everything figured out right away. What's important is that you start thinking about it and you're open to exploring different paths in life. You might need to learn a new skill, take internships, or network with people in your industry. But that's just all part of the journey. Another crucial aspect of life after graduation is learning new life skills, time management, financial literacy, and basic adulting skills. You might be thinking, oh, what's the big deal? I can just Google it. But the truth is, these skills take practice over time, and it's better to learn them now rather than later. As you navigate through the ups and downs of life after graduation, it's essential to remember one key thing. Adaptability is key. You need to be able to roll with the punches, take feedback, and be open to change. It's not always easy, but it is very necessary. And the most important thing is resilience. Resilience? Resilience. You will face setbacks, rejections, and failures along the way. But it's how you respond to them that matters. In conclusion, life after graduation isn't always gonna necessarily be easy for a lot of us. But with the right mindset and preparation now, you can thrive. Remember, it's okay not to have everything figured out right away. And it's okay to take your time. What's important is that you're thinking ahead, being realistic, and staying open to the new experiences. Thank you so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to check this video. For any potential high schoolers that watch this video, I really hope that this was helpful. Feel free to leave any comments in the comment section if you wanna have any input on this video, or feel free to leave a comment on any subject matter you want me to tackle on the next video. I'm more happy to reach a comment and respond with another video, depending on what your topic is. Thank you so much for watching this video. God bless you for that. I'm Adam from representing Team SOS. In case I don't see you on the next one, make sure you have yourself a good morning, afternoon, evening, and most importantly, good night. I'm signing off. Peace.